Thank you, Luther, very much. Congressman John Lewis of Georgia is featured throughout this museum in films and news clips, mainly because of his courageous work in the Civil Rights Movement. There's this terrific video loop in the First Amendment gallery showing many diverse voices reciting and talking about the First Amendment. Let's watch a brief excerpt featuring Representative Lewis and remarks by Martin Luther King, and then we'll hear directly from Congressman John Lewis. When we came here in 1963, Martin Luther King Jr. stood on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial and transformed those steps into a modern day pool. In the street, singing songs and carrying signs, mostly saying, Do it for our side. It's time to stop. Hey, what's the sound? What's going down? Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech. The right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. No more lies, America! Wake up! This is a new day! The day of the truth! Your order to this first When we 
were in shackles, handcuffed, and behind bars. It was the First Amendment that set us free. I don't know where this nation would be. I don't know where I would be today without the guarantees of the First Amendment. It took ordinary people with extraordinary vision, willing to lay their bodies on the line to right this wrong. It took judges willing to uphold the law even though their lives were threatened. And it also took free and courageous members of the media. It was very dangerous just a few short years ago in many parts of the South to be a member of the media. To have a pencil and a pad, to have a camera. I've often said that without the press, the civil rights movement would have been like a bird without wings. Members of the press took their lives in their own hand in an unspoken agreement based on our common humanity. They have to demonstrate the need for social justice and civil rights in the American South and throughout the South. And that's why it is so fitting and appropriate that this museum was built to be the role to show the role of the press in our society and to the immutable principles embodied in the First Amendment. So today, I feel like we're more than lucky, a very blessed in this country, that we have guaranteed the rights to public dissent. So I encourage us all to use that right when you see injustice, stand up, speak up, speak out, get to the bottom of the story, and speak truth to power. Martin Luther King Jr. used to say, it is always right to protest for what is right. I want to leave you today with the words he spoke to the participants in the Montgomery Bus Boycott in 1955. He said, you who protest the rage of women, yet with dignity and love, when the history books are written in future generations, the historians will have to pause and say, their lives are great people who injected new meaning and dignity into the very vein of our civilization. 